Now I'm going to talk about how to build up a good marriage. And I talk about the moments I didn't see a kujenga no anzuri. It's important for you and for you to teach people. Ni amuimu we kujifundisha na pia we kujifundisha watu wengine. Both unmarried people and married people. Wale ambao meoleka na wale ambao hawajaolewa. One very important thing we need to know. Jambo kuu la muhimu ambalo yafuatu lijue is the difference between men and women. Ni kati ya utofauti ulioko kati ya mwanaume na mwanamke. God has created men and women very different. Mungu ameumba mwanaume tofauti na mwanamke tofauti for a reason, kwa sababu. But many people didn't know that. Lakini watu wengi hawajui hayo. Okay. Men, God created men that we are more task oriented. We want to do things. Mungu amewaumba wanaume akawapa nyama nyingi kama ya konda ili watu wanaume wafanye kazi nyingi zaidi. And men have more motivation to accomplish certain tasks in their life. Na pia wanaume wameumbwa wakayo watu wa kutekeleza na kumaliza majukumu fulani katika maisha. And then God created women to have they put attention to relationship and feelings and listening. Na mungu waka mungu wanamuke ili awe mtu wakusikiliza na kuteleneza mausiano ya kuwe ya kupendeza. Now why does God make men and women different? Kwa nini basi mungu waka mungu wanamuke na wanamuke wakiwa na utofauti? Now if everyone is a man, then everyone just want to do things. Basi kama kila mmoja angekuwa ni mwanaume, ingekuwa kwa kama kila mtu akobize vize kufanya vize. And then there is not much relationship. Na sasa ingekuwa na usiano mzuri. You notice that when men talk, they talk about things. Anakudua kwa kama mwanaume anapoongea, anazungumuza kuhusu kufanya vitu fulani. They don't talk much about their feelings and their needs. Yani hawajizungumzi kuhusu maitaji yao na hata hisia zao. Now if Everyone is a man then this, the relationship in the world will not be strong. Basi kama kila mtu kwamba Mungu angeliumba dunia yote ikuwe na wanaume peke yao. The God will be kwa na uhusiano wa kutosha dunia. The God women that women treasure relationship. Mungu aliwaumba wanawake ili na wanawake wakafurahie uhusiano wakaulinde uhusiano. Years ago when I minister in a church where every time when churches when the church finished, then everyone come out and greet, and we greet the people. The pastor stand there to greet the people. Aha. Kwa ukule kuna vipindi ya mbako ibada za kanisa zikiisha, watu utoka pale inche na mtungaja na simama kila mtu wa kimsarimu wa kipita. I noticed that even little girls, one or two years old little girl, when they come to me, they will be very happy and shake hands with me. Ah. Ye ya megundua kuamba wakata na wamemaleza ibada kwao, kule hindi wa kisalimiana, hata mwatoto wa dogo wa mwoni wa sichena na kukunja kumusalimu, wana musalimu wakiwa wana tabasaa mwa mifraia. But when the boys came, lakini wafulana ama wanaume wana kukunja, they will be playing with the toys. Any hour watoto kazi ya wana chata chata na vile vinyango vyao, if they shake hand, they won't have the excitement. Yani hata kama na kusalimu haa, onyesi kale kasura kakutabasaa mwa. Even from a young age, Hata kama wao wano ni wachanga. Women like relationship. Yani wanawake wanapenda usiana. And also women are sensitive to feelings. Na pia wanawake wao huu wako wako na ile hali ya kutambua haraka haraka hisia za mtu. If they don't find love. Kama wanawake hawawezi kupendua. They will have a lot of feelings. Watakuwa na hisia nyingi. And when they have negative feelings na wanapokuwa na hisia kinyume it's like a pressure cooker ni kama vile ile gesi ya kupikia chakula the pressure will become higher and higher yani sasa wao watakuwa na pressure nyingi na limu wao she wants to talk about it anataka kuzungumza kulihusu ilo jamu and if nobody listen to her na kama mtu mwanaume hata kuwa kwa msikilize she can blow up anaweza hata kupasuka but if a woman receives the love that she wants lakini mwanamke akipokea ule upendo ambao anauitaji she will be very devoted yeye atanyenyekea and she can be the best helper of the man na anaweza kuwa mwanamke mzuri zaidi but many men did not realize that lakini wanaume wengi wao hawajagundua jambo hilo they just use a woman like a servant wanawafanya wanawake wanakuwa kama wajakazi katika nyumba zao cook for me hebu nipikie ugali and bear a child for me hebu ukanizalie mtoto na uwatunze watoto and they don't give love 
to the woman na huyu mwanaume hapeani upendo kwa mkewe and don't listen to the woman hasikilizi hata maongezi ya mkewe and the woman will get more and more happy sasa mwanamke huyu anaendelea kukasirishwa na kukasirishwa and what happens whenever she talks na sasa kila wakati huyu mwanamke anapoongea she starts to complain anaongea tu maongezi yake kila siku dukulala na before marriage it was different lakini kabla huyu mwanamke hajaolewa ilikuwa ni tofauti because there was not much responsibility kwa sababu hakukuwa na majukumu mengi so the woman you know did not nag so much kwa hivyo huyu mwanamke yeye hakuwa na mambo mengi ya kusumbua but she may start to nag when the when the boyfriend doesn't listen to her lakini sasa huyu mwanamke anaanza kulalamika kwa mfano wakati yule mchumba wake hamsikilizi Now women have a high sense of responsibility of taking care of people. Wanawake wako na majukumu makubwa sana ya kuwajali watu wengine. In the family is usually the mother who remembers the needs of the children. Katika familia ni mama anayeweza kukumbuka haraka mahitaji ya watoto katika familia. The mother remembers I need to buy more food. Yaani mama anakumbuka kwamba lazima nikanunue chakula cha kutosha. And sometimes the father even forget about the children. Na hata wakati mwingine baba anasahau hata majina ya watoto wake. But the mother doesn't forget about them. Lakini mama hawezi akasahau. So the mother gives the relationship a strong relationship to the family. Sasa mama ndiye anayepeana uhusiano uwe mzuri katika familia. So there's a gift from God. Yaani hiyo ni zawadi uliyopewa kutoka kwa Mungu. The women treasure relationship. Wanawake wanadhamini sana uhusiano. And at the same time men treasure you know tasks. Na wanaume wao wanadhamini sana zile kazi zao. So most of the construction in the world were made by men. Asua sana ile majumba makubwa ya kijengwa yanajengwa na wanaume. The men want to do or work. Yaani wanaume wanataka kufanya kazi nyingi. So you want the two of them to be united. Lakini tunataka hawa watu wote wawili waunganike pamoja. Now God has both natures. Kwa hivyo Mungu ako na uwasilia huu wote. The nature of men and women all came from God. Uwasilia wa mume na mwanamke wote ulitoka kwa Mungu. God has a nature to accomplish tasks. Mungu ako na uwasilia wa kumaliza majukumu fulani. But God also treasure relationship. Na Mungu pia anadhamini sana uhusiano. And he wants a very deep relationship with us. Na anataka uhusiano wetu uwe wa kiundani zaidi. He wants a relationship with the soul. Anataka uhusiano wetu na nafsi zetu. And he treasured people who have a close relationship with him. Na Mungu anawadhamini wale ambao wako na uhusiano wa karibu naye. Okay? Now when we know the basic difference between men and women. Bas tukisha jua tofauti hiyo kati ya mwanamke na mwanaume. How do we build up a good marriage? Bas tutajenga vipi ndoa zetu zikawe nzuri? Now the Bible says very clearly, Biblia inasema wazi, men love your wife as Christ loves the church and gave his life for the church. Wanaume mkawapende wake zenu kama vile Kristo Yesu alivyopenda kanisa hata akatoa maisha yake kwa ajili ya hilo kanisa. Because usually it's hard for men to love. Kwa sababu ni vigumu sana wanaume kupenda. Men usually want to do things. Eh wanaume kumbe hatupendagi. Yaani wanaume sisi tunataka tu kufanya vitu. So when men prepare themselves for marriage, kwa hivyo mwanaume anapojiandaa kwa ajili ya ndoa We should be prepared to love and to listen and to care. Yaani unapofanya hayo maandalizi lazima ujiandae pia kupenda, kujitoa na kumfanyia mkeo. But I want to say, nataka kusema hivi. Men has a strong sex drive. Sorry. Men has a strong sex drive. Aha, mwanamume yeye anavutiwa sana na lile tendo la ndoa. So most men when they get married, they just want a beautiful party and they want to have sex. Aha. Yaani mwanamume anapotaka kuoa, anajaribu kutafuta yule binti aliyerembeka, aliyejipodoa podupodu ili awe na mwili mzuri wa kufanya tendo la ndoa. Even in dating, many men always think of where I can have sex with the woman. Yaani sasa huyo mwanamke akisha kuja, mwanaume penye hapo yeye anawaza hawazi jambo lingine, lakini anawaza kile tendo la ndoa. Nitamfikia saa ngapi tuanze hilo tendo? And I want to say this too when a man has finished the sex action, nataka kusema hivi wakati mwanaume anapomaliza tu ile shughuli, he just want to fall asleep. Anapomaliza tu analala. It's an action. 
Nintendo. A woman's sex is relationship. She looks for a man to really care for her. Man is just looking for a sex act. So we should educate our people. We're men prepared to get married. We need to learn to listen. Now, most men don't have patience to listen to women. Now we're talking with a girl they have interest. Because the girls won't talk about the problems. They just have fun and laugh. So before marriage, many men have a thinking. After they get married, I want my woman like this girl. Oh, always ha 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 ha. So happy. <laughs> Sasa hii jamani si kidi ni uma yeye. Sasa anasema kwamba mwanaume kazi yake tu ni kutaka kutafuta yule mtu. Yaani akiona msichana fulani amependeza kule nje, akija kwa nyumba yake anapata mkewe hapendezi. Anataka akimwona anasema, "Nataka mke wangu pia akapendeze kama huyu vile anavyopendeza yeye." If we want the wife to continue to be happy, then we give her more love. Basi ukisha roho, ukitaka huyu mwanamke aendelee kuwa na furaha, we mwanaume endelea kumuonyesha upendo. But the man was saying, she just talked about problems. Sasa huyu mwanamke kila siku nikiingia kwa nyumba sina sukari, sina sijui ni yani ni matatizo kila siku. The problems have a reason. Yani hayo matatizo yana sababu. She said, "You don't listen to me." Nasema, "Mbona unisikilizi?" The reason is the man doesn't listen to her. The reason is the man doesn't listen to her. Aha, sababu ni kwamba we mwanaume umekataa kusikiliza mume mkeo. But when the man listen to the woman, lakini mwanaume anapomzungumza anapom mwanaume anaposikiliza mahitaji ya mkewe. And say positive words and words of praise all the time. Na mwanaume unamwambia mkeo maneno ya kuvutia kila wakati. Then she will feel comforted. Huyo mwanamke atasema kwamba then she will complain. Niko sawa na hata lalamika. And also the woman might say na hata mwanamke atasema the children are a problem. Hata watoto wana matatizo. If the husband listen and say na kama mwanaume atasikiliza na kusema let's try to find a way to help the children. Hebu tukaja tukatafute njia kusaidia hawa watoto. The wife would be very happy. Mwanamke atakuwa na furaha. But many men will say lakini wanaume wengi watasema you take care of the children. Wewe watunze watoto. I go out to work. Mimi nitaenda nje kufanya kazi. That way the woman feel alone. Yaani huyo mwanamke anajihisi yako na upweke japokuwa ameoleka. And every time she sees her husband come home, na kila wakati anapomwona mume wake akirejea, she tell him the problem with the children, anamwambia matatizo ya watoto, the problem with the food and the house, kwa mfano matatizo nyumbani, hawana chakula. The more he doesn't listen, na vile mume anavyoendelea kutosikiliza, the more she wants to complain, ndio mwanamke naye anavyoendelea kulalamika. There's so many problems in the home. Sasa itakuwa matatizo mengi kule nyumbani. So men must learn to listen. Wanaume lazima mjifundishe kusikiliza and respond to the what they say. Na kuitikia ama kufuatilia yale ambao wakezeni wanawaambia. Now as single men you learn to listen to your mother and your sisters and Respond to them, then you know how to respond to your wife. Wewe kama haujaoa hebu ukauwe na uwezo wa kusikiliza mambo ya dada zako wakubwa na hata mama yako ili kwamba unapooa utakuwa na mazoea ya kusikia hata mkeo akizungumza. Also what to say as a pastor pia nataka kusema kama mchungaji. We want to be able to listen to women. Ni lazima pia tuwasikilize wakina mama. So I understand the needs of people. Ili kwamba tukajue mahitaji ya watu. Usually, women was women would tell the needs the needs. Aha, wanaume basi watatoa mahitaji yao. So when I counsel couples, usually the men say no problem in the marriage. Kwa hivyo anapowashauri wale wanandoa anasema kwamba hakuna matatizo na wanaume. But the wife will say there are many problems. Yaani mwanaume sio rahisi aseme matatizo, lakini mke anapoanza kusema atasema matatizo mengi sana. So when a pastor learn to listen to people, basi mtungaji unapojifundisha kumaliza. He can be a better pastor. Usikiliza watu utakuwa mtungaji mzuri. You notice my teaching is very down to earth. 
Una kumbu kwa kwa mafundisho yake yote ni ya hapa chini kusaidia watu wa chini. Down to real problems of people. Yaani inakuja kwa matatizo ya kawaida ya watu. Because I listen to many people. Kwa sababu anawasikiliza watu wengi. I know the lives of many people. Najua maisha ya watu wengi. But some pastors who don't know the lives of people. Maliza bwana. Yaani watu wengi hawasikilizi maneno ya watu wengi. They just preach from the Bible which is far away from the lines of the Bible. We want to be able to apply the Bible to your daily lives. And then for women, mm -hmm. women need to learn to submit. Because women have a sense of responsibility. Wako na ile dhana ya kuchukumika. She sees that the family has a lot of needs and problems. Yani mwanamke anaona kwamba familia ina matatizo mengi. And when the husband doesn't take care of the problems, na sasa mwanaume kama hawezi kushughulikia matatizo yale. She start to take over. Ana mwanamke sasa anaingilia kwa sababu ya hiyo. You should have a strong sense of responsibility. Na sasa utagundua kwamba mwanamke yeye ana majukumu mengi zaidi. And when she takes over, na mwanamke anapochukua kazi ya mwanaume, she thinks the man is incapable. Sasa huyu mwanamke anafikiria kwamba huyu mwanaume hajiwezi. And also her emotions causes her to nag a lot. Na sasa hiyo itamfanya huyu mwanamke awe kulamika zaidi. So the husband doesn't want to listen. Ya kwamba mume hataki kusikiliza. Now instead of nagging the woman should learn to guide the husband <coughs> and to respect the husband. Now submission mainly means respect him. To listen to his words kumsikiliza and to respect him na kumtii and to say wow you are a capable man na useme hey wewe ni mwanaume ambaye ukweli wewe but when you talk like that to the husband basi mke unavyozungumza hivyo kwa mwanaume wake I'm so happy you fix the life for us aha nina furaha kwa sababu umekwisha kuweka hata mwangaji you have done so much for us umefanya mambo mengi kwa ajili yetu the man will feel happy mwanaume atahisi yako na furaha and when there is a need kama kuna mahitaji guide the husband Instead of criticizing the husband, but rather mukumum and appreciate everything he has done. Na sasa uka sukul pa kili amata ni. And the husband appreciate everything the wife does. Na sasa mwanam mume ebu pia na wewe uka sukul pa kili amba mukewa mikufanya. And also for women, try to speak. Don't talk too much. Basi kama wewe mwanamke hebu usizungumuze mambo mengi. Give your husband some space and some time to think about. Mpe mmeo sehemu ya kusikiliza. Because when women find that the husband doesn't listen, she will keep saying over and over and over again. Unajua ukipiga makofa na anafikiri unashangilia mambo anayoongea. Kwa hivyo unapoendelea unapoendelea kumtii mmeo na kumsaidia atakufurahisha na atakupenda zaidi. And the husbands can say it like this. Na mume anaweza kusema hivi. I heard what you said. I'll think about it. And then the, husband, the wife can say, okay, I'll leave him alone and let him think. And just remind him lightly. And always appreciate him. And also have more body contact with the husband. Now, when you, when you see the husband hug her or hold him, hug him or hold him, it will make him feel happier, feel uh, more motivated to build the relationship. And the motivation to build up a marriage na kule kuchochea ambacho kunasaidia kujenga ndoa is that if, if they love each other kama watapendana the marriage will be enjoyable yani ile ndoa itakuwa ya furaha and the family member will grow with Jesus together na sasa hiyo ndoa wataishi pamoja katika Kristo Yesu and God will bless everything na Mungu atabariki kila kitu and they can serve God better na unaweza kumtumikia Mungu vyema zaidi now i'm just very short message na kwa wewe ujumbe mfupi i hope you work on your marriage na fikiria kwamba basi utafanya utafanya bidii katika ndoa zenu listen to the person kusikilize watu don't use criticism yani usio mtu wa kuhukumu don't use accusation usitumie maneno ya ushuru just ask question 
Alchemy solve this problem. Yeah. And also when we communicate with anyone too. Don't criticize. But just ask questions. Okay, God bless you all. Have a great day. Now let me tell you, if you want me, my wife and I are both very busy. Yeah. 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 So that's our relationship. When I arrive at Hong Kong, she'll be waiting for me. Yani akifika kule atapata mkewe amemsubiri zaidi. She'll be very happy to see me. Atakuwa na furaha kumuona. And we've been talking every day on the phone. Na wamekuwa wakiongea kwa simu kila wakati. So I hope you can have a enjoyable relationship in your family. Na mimi pia wewe unaweza kufurahia familia yako. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's conclude with the prayer. Hebu tusimame tuombe tumalize sasa. Dear heavenly Father. Baba wetu wa mbinguni. We praise you and thank you. Tunasema asante. You're so wonderful. Wewe ni wa ajabu. Everything you do is wonderful. Kila kitu unachokifanya ni cha ajabu. You're loving God. Wewe ni Mungu wa upendo. Help us to enjoy your love. Tusaidie tukafurahie upendo wako. Be motivated by your love. Sasa tukachochewa na upendo wako. Help us to enjoy your love. To say, "Die to kasereke upendoa." Take away our guilt feelings. Uka tu ndole mawazo yetu ya aibu. Take away our hurts feelings. Uka tu ndole mawazo yetu ndo. So we can say every day, God is loving me. Mungu ni penda. God is blessing me. Mungu ni bariki. I can enjoy life. Na wenda kufurahi ya maisha. And whatever I do for God, Jesus na chofanya kwa mungu. It's God who works in me. Mungu na chofanya kwa mungu. To will and to do His will. Ili kufanya mapenzi ya mungu. It's God who is working in me. Ni Mungu anayefanya kazi na limu wangu. To give me strength ili akanipe nguvu. To help me to bear fruit akanisaidia ni mbele. I thank you God. Ninakushukuru Mungu. You are united with us. Ume uko unganishwa pamoja nasi. You are moving in our heart. Wewe unafanya kazi. We want to let you guide our life. Tunataka tukuachilie ukadhibiti maisha yetu. To take over our life ili ukachukue maisha yetu. And to bless our life. Bariki maisha yetu. So we can bless more people. Ili nasi tukubariki watu wengi. Thank you Jesus. Asante. You are so wonderful. We like you. We enjoy you. We pray that you bless our family. And help us to listen to people. And hear about people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great And use your life mightily. And hope you would Learn these teachings well. Naomba kwamba utajifundisha kwa fundisha haya. And you can start to teach people. Na uanze kufundisha watu. Maybe you can train people. Ya kwamba unaweza pia kuwafundisha watu. And then those who want to learn more, wale wanaotaka kujifundisha zaidi. You can understand English. Unaweza kuelewa kizungu. You can have a group a WhatsApp group with Bishop. Ya kwamba mtungaji atengeneza kikundi cha WhatsApp. And I will send my documents to you. Atakuwa anawatumia mafundisho haya. God bless you all. Mungu awabariki wote. Hallelujah. Thank you all.